Now one of the reasons that the Bernoulli distribution is so easy to work with is everything works out very nice mathematically. That will not be the case for all distributions. So let's start out by looking at the moment generating function for a Bernoulli random variable. And in this case the moment generating function m of t is by definition the expected value of e to the tx power and that will be the sum over the support. Remember it is a summation here rather than an integral because it's a discrete distribution and the support are the values 0 and 1 of e to the tx times f of x. So you will have e to the tx times f of x and maybe I can slip a step in here. This will be equal to well when x equals 0 you get e to the 0 power which is 1 multiplied by f of 0 and you know that f of 0 is 1 minus p plus and then when x is equal to 1 you will get e to the t power and that will be multiplied by f of 1 and f of 1 is p and so when you simplify that you can see you get 1 minus p plus p e to the t and that is good for all t from minus infinity to infinity which means it exists in a neighborhood about zero you got to go back to the definition and be concerned about the details furthermore for any positive integer r when you take this function right here and differentiate it obviously the one and the uh, negative p both drop out because they're constants with respect to time but when you take a first derivative you get p e to the t and when you differentiate again you get p e to the t and on and on so it turns out that the um, rth derivative of the moment generating function is always p e to the t which means when you take that rth derivative and you plug in 0 you will simply get e to the 0 power which is 1 times p and that is p so as I said at the top of this slide the the results here are very nice the expected value of x is p the expected value of x squared is p and so is the expected value of x cubed etc so everything works out very nice mathematically here if instead of using moment generating functions to generate these moments you instead wanted to go back to first principles you could certainly use the defining formulas and we'll do this here just to illustrate we don't have to do this because we've already got the mean but this is just to show you you get the same thing using the usual defining formula for the expected value of x so mu is the expected value of x is the sum of x f of x over the support script a that support script a goes from 0 to 1 so we get 0 multiplied by f of 0 which is 1 minus p plus 1 times f of 1 and f of 1 is p this term drops out and you are just left with p and that confirms exactly what we got here using moment generating functions now to find the population variance also known as v of x that will be the sum of x minus mu squared f of x over the support script a in this case we are using the defining formula rather than the shortcut formula either would be fine you should probably also try this using the shortcut formula just to confirm that you get the same value here so first of all letting x equals 0 in this summation you get 0 minus the mean the mean is p squared times f of 0 which is 1 minus p plus then you get 1 for x minus the mean which is p squared times f of 1 and you know that f of 1 is p so when you do the algebra to work this out you get p times 1 minus p and that's exactly what you're also going to get by using the shortcut formula on the next slide we look at the population skewness and kurtosis. I saved you the details of working through these, but here is the population skewness, and here is the population kurtosis. Again, these are very, very nice expressions, uh, mathematically tractable, and they can be expressed in closed form. 
If you want to use Apple to calculate those moments, you set x equal to a Bernoulli random variable with parameter p. Now to, to look a little bit behind the curtains here in terms of what's happening, that first statement, namely x is a Bernoulli random variable with parameter p, is, is executing the following maple code. It is putting an assume, that is an assumption, on p and it is saying that it falls in the range from 0 to 1. So that's the, uh, the first thing that is done when you execute x is equal to Bernoulli random variable p. And then the second thing that is done is x gets set equal to a discrete random variable and its PDF is given by 1 minus p, which is the probability it is a failure, and p, which is the probability it is a success. After that, to get the uh, moment generating function, you just type in mgf of x to get the population mean which turned out to be p, you type in mean of x to get the variance of x, which is p times 1 minus p, just type in variance x to get this skewness, you call the skewness function, and finally to get this kurtosis, you call the kurtosis function.